Hi guys, welcome back to our Express Pilates class. My name's Chris, I'm an exercise physiologist here at Better Exercise Physiology in Hillsville. We run Pilates here at the clinic. Come down and check us out if you're interested. Now for today's class, we've just got a really short one, uh, about five minutes of really good core work. Lying on your back to start. We're just gonna start with a basic chest lift. Knees bent, hands gently supporting the head, elbows out wide, we're curling up into that crunch or chest lift position and then rolling back down. When you start with that, elbows out wide, chin drawn down towards your chest, rib cage down towards your hips, slowly rolling back down at the bottom, relax your head and neck onto the mat, so we allow that tension to go and then we're gonna curl back up. With your breathing, I want you to inhale as you curl down, exhale as you curl back up. Again, inhale as you roll down, relax the head and neck at the bottom, Exhale as you curl up into that crunch. And then rolling back down. Do a few more of those, just a really gentle abdominal exercise to, to warm up and then we're gonna build up and we're gonna make the exercise a little bit more challenging as we go on in Pilates. And, and just in general, the core is so important to your wellness and function. If we can get our abdominal muscles working to help support your pelvis, to support your rib cage, just makes you so much stronger. And whether you've got any hip or lower back issues, or even if you've got shoulder or neck issues, the core is fundamental to all of those. If we're not strong through the core, we lose strength and we lose stability in all those other areas. Then the same goes if you, if you play sport or you just wanna be fit and strong. If you don't have a strong core, the rest, the rest is useless. As you curl up now, I want you to bring a leg up to tabletop at right angles and then place it back down the mat. Then we'll do the same on the other side. Making sure as the leg comes up and down, you're not rotating the hip bones to the side at all. So we're just going forwards and back with the body. Make sure we're still coming all the way up into that crunch. So curling the shoulders right up, again, that full range of movement, chin down towards your chest, that breathing again was to exhale on the way up, then inhale as you roll back down. On this next one, curl up and hold, stretch your leg out, bring it back to tabletop and back down, then we can curl the shoulders down. And we come up to the other side, curl up, leg to tabletop, stretch out, in, rest back down. Let's keep going with that. Curl up, hold the shoulders as high as you can. Leg lengthens away, back to tabletop, rolling back down. I want you to hold that height of the crunch each time. Hold it there, leg out, bring it back in, roll back down, keep going with that. Hold that as high as you can. Leg out, back in, rolling back down. Keep going, really strong now. As your abdominals tire, try to keep working we're gonna keep working through this full full session today. We won't give our abdominals much of a rest. We're working on that endurance of muscles, the ability to be able to keep on working, keep on contracting throughout the day. Now, if you're following it along at home, I recommend you doing this exercise every day. You should be doing some sort of exercise most days of the week. And if you're doing some type of Pilates, you're gonna find you benefit really quickly um, in terms of your strength, in terms of your, your back pain, your hip pain, any issues you've got, you're just gonna feel so much better if you can get into a habit of doing these exercises every day. Like I said, today will be a really short class, so it doesn't take much just to fit in a few minutes each day. Okay, place that leg back down. We're gonna do an oblique crunch now. So I want you to lift just one shoulder, the opposite knee comes to tabletop, you can even touch that knee if you can, and then roll back down then to the opposite side. So elbow towards that opposite knee, and then roll back down, head and neck relax at the bottom. Keep going with this one. So now we're getting our obliques working by adding in that rotation of the trunk each time. Breathing again, exhale on the way up, inhale as you roll back down. Really important that we hit all of those abdominal muscles. So I've got a few different areas in our abdominals. We've got the muscles at the front, those six pack muscles, your rectus abdominis, you've got the ones at the side, your obliques. The obliques are the ones we're working a little bit more at the moment now, where we're rotating the spine, rotating the pelvis. We also have deeper muscles, your pelvic floor, your transverse abdominis, that 
all support and add in to that uh, core region. Then your lower back muscles. So we need to make sure we're targeting all the different muscles. And you'll find different classes that we've done in the past attributed to each of those areas. Do a couple more of those oblique crunches. Abdominal muscles should be fatiguing by now if you've been doing the exercise well. 20 seconds in those oblique crunches and we've got one more set of exercise to go. So again, really short class. Just, just to give you a little bit of a taste, to get you in to that routine of doing something. Five minutes is all it takes to get you started. Last one, elbow to knee and roll back down. We've got one more exercise. I want you to curl up and hold. Reach your arms out, pulsing your hands up and down. These are called hundreds in Pilates. We do these for 100 pulses, but today we're just going to go 30 seconds. If you can, make it harder. Feet up. Harder again, legs extended. 20 seconds, quicker with the arms, chin tucked, rib cage tucked. Try and keep your lower back down on the mat if you've got the legs out. Quicker with the arms, stronger with the arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll down, hug your knees into your chest. Guys, that's it. Like I said, really short class today. If you got through that, well done. Do the exercise a few times throughout the week and we'll see you here next time. If you like the video, share it, like it, leave a comment. Thanks a lot.